Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! I'm so happy to... This is my first vlog in the new year. I've had a lovely, cozy, rainy morning with my friend. She's staying with me because we did New Year's together. We did a cabin, which was my last vlog, if you guys didn't check that out. And she's never been to New York before, so she asked if she could stay for a couple days after we got back from the mountains, and I was like, obviously, I love showing around New York City. So we've been doing some really fun stuff. Um, tonight, we're going to a Broadway show and dinner. Love dinner on a show and we're doing some other fun things pending the weather because it's raining right now which I've been loving but also I want to show her things outside but yeah this vlog is going to be a couple days of my life very multi-dimensional because today we're doing some fun sightseeing New York things which I know you guys have been craving on my vlogs and tomorrow I have lots of fun appointments just things and my friend leaves tomorrow and then Thursday is like get life together clean I don't know do everything do all the things so we'll see what Thursday entails but um, I'm really excited because also I'm doing a haul in this vlog to start it off because I just got some really fun pieces from Princess Polly including this whole outfit I'm wearing right now and I'm probably gonna wear it all today because it's so cute and I always love everything from Princess Polly as you guys know I've been working with them for years thank you Princess Polly for sponsoring this vlog I'm so excited to be working with you guys again I actually do have a coupon code that I need to tell you guys because every time I have a coupon code I literally use my own or I'll text my friends and be like you guys need to use this because they'll literally always ask me like Danielle do you have a coupon code right now for Princess Polly because it's so good XO Danielle I'll have it here on the screen for 20% off so yeah I'm gonna show you some fun pieces obviously we'll do a try on haul because I know that's your favorite probably gonna wear one of these outfits to the Broadway show tonight too because it's all so cute so great for winter just some great layering pieces too I'm just obsessed so I'm really excited to kind of kick off the vlog with a fun try on haul to get inspired for some winter fashion inspo also Princess Polly does ship from within the United United States and for orders over 50 US dollars they'll give free standard shipping which is three to six business days goes by just like that you have your clothes in your hand and it's a beautiful feeling Princess Polly also offers after pay and shop pay for all US customers I will have links below to all the clothes I show you guys but let's get started with the fashion show the try on haul okay so here is the first outfit I have this really cute white top I love the high neck I like how it's not super cropped it's perfect to wear with the pants like this I think I paired it with this shrug this is my first shrug I've ever owned I feel really cool and trendy it's this really cute like cream colored one they have multiple colors on Princess Polly but it's nice it gives a little warmth but it still gives it what well, adds a fun little style too I think and then these pants I'm obsessed I want them in every single color I think these are like a beige khaki color I'm really into pairing like whites creams beiges browns all together and just making it an outfit I think it's a very soft yet chic vibe so this is the first outfit. Love the pants. They're all from Princess Polly, obviously. Next up, I have this really cute cable knit crop sweater situation. It's obviously sleeveless. I love this. I've always wanted one of these to layer. I think it would look really, really cute layered with a button down, like a long button down underneath. And then this is over top. I just threw it over this shirt um, so I could show it to you guys. But I love it. It's perfectly boxy. I'd wear it on its own too. It depends on what climate you're in. I also have worn this already with a um, turtleneck long sleeve underneath, another good layering piece. I think it looks really cute with these pants too, honestly. Um, but yeah, love this top. If you guys have been watching my vlogs or follow me on Instagram, you know I've already been wearing this jacket so much. I wore it a ton when I was in Florida. It was a perfect layering piece, again, into the browns and the beiges, as you guys could tell. It's this brown, zip up jacket i love their zip ups they're such great quality and they're like the perfect oversized feel um i believe i got a size medium in this i also wore this zipped up with a brown puffer vest over top and that was really cute so the options are endless they have a ton of great loungewear on princess folly this top is everything so many tops I found online like this have always been sold out and so when I was on Princess Polly and I saw this I knew I had to have it. It's this beautiful dark brown like chocolate brown corset. I love it. It really snatches you in really easy. You just clip it in the front like this. This is the back. Still got the tag on. Um, I also like how it looks with these pants and like some brown mule heels I think would be really cute. Um, this is such a good like night out on the town or just like fun gals dinner um, top so I think you all need this. <laughs> I have been on the hunt for the perfect like striped trousers 
and I think I found them. These are these really cute gray pinstripe trousers from Princess Polly. They fit perfectly. I always get a size 6 there, and then I just put on this white top over it. I think with a blazer, this is such a vibe, or seriously, just on its own, add a ton of like jewelry and sneakers. It's a really cute look. Um, I really like it. I also like the idea of like dressing it up with some black heels would be really fun and really cute. Okay, you guys, this set, yes. Everything, yes. This is actually like a really pretty kind of charcoal-y gray color. I love the bra top with the high-waisted pants. It's one of my favorite looks to go for. I will definitely be wearing this very soon with some high heels. I should have put on heels so you guys can like see the visual. Throw a blazer over your shoulders if you're cold or like a boxy leather jacket I think would look really nice. Such a cute set. Like, I feel like I don't need to say much more because it's so perfect. I thought this outfit was a super cute idea. It's a set, actually, so it's this really cute, again, that gray color dress, and then it came with this oversized button-down, so you could wear it so many different ways. You could, you know, button it up and then wear a belt and, like, kind of scrunch it, which I think could be really cute. Might wear it to the show tonight. Or, you know, a little off the shoulder, which I think is my decision. Or you could wear it off the shoulder like this and then add a belt. Like, there's so many different options. Wear some booties or some heels. Again, this could be, like, casual, too. You could wear sneakers if you wanted. So, I really, really like this look. I think they also had different colors in this set. So, something to note there. And last but not least, this is me in a dress. We've got the brown. We've got the bodycon. I love it. I love a long sleeve maxi dress. I'm very, very here for it. I like this subtle detail right here. It's a little bit of a mock neck situation, which is nice. I fully plan on wearing this with, I have tall cream boots. So you'll see the cream tall boots a little bit. Um, it'll give you some height. It looks so good. Makes your bum look good. Um, overall, this is probably my favorite thing that I got from Princess Polly this time. It's just so cute. I will have a link below. We love it, we love it. So thank you Princess Polly again. You guys can use my code XODanielle for 20% off and I'll have everything linked down below. All right, I'm gonna get dressed for the day and we're gonna head out and do some fun things in the city. Okay guys, we are walking in the Cité. First stop, Carrie Bradshaw's apartment. I'm excited to show Emmy and then from there, She's so excited. It's so fun taking her around because you get so excited about like everything. <laughs> so we're gonna do that first and then go see the friend's apartment. It's above Little Owl Restaurant in West Village if you guys are ever wanting to go. And for Carrie Bradshaw's apartment, you can literally search like in your maps, Carrie Bradshaw's apartment and it'll take you there. It's on Perry Street in with <laughs> oh. I just slipped so bad. Did anyone see that? Is my butt dirty? Lightly on the side, it's okay. <laughs> That'll get you going for the morning. <laughs> My heart's racing. My heart's racing too. All right, um, so don't walk on those subway doors anymore. <laughs> Woo! Anyways, I don't even remember what I was saying anymore. Anyway. Let's go. All right, we're approaching. I feel Carrie's presence. <laughs> Carrie Bradshaw, where are you at? They literally have signs here like, Oh, that's really sweet. If you take a picture, donate to homeless NYC dogs and cats. Aww. So we've made it to the friend's apartment. It's above the Little Owl in West Village. Here it is. Emmy's like, hmm, things aren't adding up though. No, not architecture-wise. Not architecture-wise. <laughs> she was saying about the like outdoor little patio she has. Unless it's like, I mean, obviously we know they didn't film in there, but yeah. So they just showed like this corner. So there you go. Very fun. Stop number two. <laughs> We are now in the Seaport District, <laughs> in the Financial District. I love this area so much. Um, I'm actually thinking before I show you that, just because we have dinner at five before the show, we should get lunch now. Yeah, so I'm gonna take you to lunch. We're gonna go to Malibu Farm. It's up here on the Seaport Pier, whatever. I forget what pier this is called, but it's really good. It's on the water, it's a good vibe. Okay, so this is Pier 17. If we were to go up there, all the way up, there's a concert venue. I was just telling Emmy I saw John Party up there on the roof. I've seen Mount Joy. Really fun in the summer only. But then up here on the right is Malibu Farm. Really good. I've been to the one in Malibu. But then they opened one here and I was really excited.
I ended up getting the Impossible Burger. It looks really yummy. And then we got the Collini, which we're really not sure what it is. It's like cauliflower and broccoli. It's so good. And we got a regular burger, and we're about to dive in. It looks so good. One of my favorite spots to come sit. I love being by the water. It's like ghost town here right now. But there's the Brooklyn Bridge. Hello world. And now we are on Wall Street. Emmy likes it. Yes, I do. Very pretty old buildings. With a sweet green, of course. <laughs> it's very, very historic, very cool. Tacos, hey. All right guys, quick change. We came back and we chilled on the couch for like 30 minutes and then we realized we had to go because we have dinner at five and then we're going to see Take Me Out with Jesse Williams and Jesse Tyler Ferguson. I'm so excited. The show ends next month. Like, I don't know about for good, but it ends next month at least with this cast. And we were like, we were gonna go to Comedy Cellar tonight because she's never been. And she was like, I'll just come back and we'll go to Comedy Cellar, but the show is only here, you know till then so I've been wanting to see it for a hot minute so I'm really excited that I found someone who wants to go see it with me guys I've worn this exact outfit to see two other Broadway shows this is just like my going to see a show outfit it's just like a little bit chillier than I thought so not ch it's not super chilly but the outfit I was gonna wear for Princess Polly I just couldn't figure out a jacket to wear with it so this is literally my outfit I wear this like dress all the time it's like a turtleneck sleeveless Leather jacket over top and then tall black boots. It's one of my go-to fits with a little black bag. We're going to an Italian restaurant near the theater and then we're going. I'm so excited. I love dinner and a show. That show was so good. I surprised Emmy and we like thought we were getting certain seats and then there were seats like literally like four rows up and I was like, we're doing it. And so when the lady was taking us to our seats, Emmy was like, wait, I'm confused. I was like, surprise. We had to be up close and personal to see Mr. Jesse Williams, you know? It was amazing. And Jesse Tyler Ferguson was so funny. We were dying laughing the whole time. It was so good, like literally, so good they actually lock up your phone so you're like very in the moment i would see it again 10 out of 10, 10, out of 10. so good good morning guys it's wednesday and emmy's about to leave for the airport but we are going to get bagels because she hasn't had a New York bagel yet. So we got to make sure that happens. I'm wearing this little set today. It's so comfy. We might go for a little walk. We'll like see the vibes. But I have lots of appointments today. Nail appointment and hair appointment. I'm getting these touched up. Going to go even a little bit shorter. Well, not shorter, but like back to where it was cut because it grew. So we got a day of beauty appointments and getting my life together. I folded laundry last night and now I just like left it on the couch. Um, and it's 60 degrees outside. So I'm literally able to wear this, no jacket. Pretty crazy. Happy Wednesday. I'm finally alone. <laughs> Nothing against anybody, but I have been with someone for the last two weeks um because I went home and I was with my family I came back I had like I guess a quick night to myself and then woke up and all my friends came and we all went to the cabin with 20 people and then came back here and three of them stayed here with me and like kind of one left each day and so Emmy today's Wednesday and Emmy just left I love all my friends so much but I'm tired <laughs> 
<laughs> she was tired too this morning she left like it I'm so grateful I feel so blessed but I feel so happy to just finally have my space again to myself like I don't know I didn't even get to unpack because I felt bad like taking time out of my time like to show her the city so I like, didn't unpack I don't know there's just like things like my Christmas tree is still up because I didn't want to like waste time and that's like a personal problem like I know she wouldn't have cared but I'm like con I like feel like I need to entertain people um, and it's something I'm working through for sure um, but it was really nice because I'm mean, so chill and we just kind of like relax and we would do things and we'd come back and chill it was very lovely but I am so happy to be alone like I have never felt happier <laughs> Um, so I want to change my sheets. So many people have slept in that bed with me this week. I have already been doing laundry this week. So like my clothes are all washed. I, need, I just need to clean. Like it's so dirty in here, whatever. So I'm going to get some stuff going. But then today I actually scheduled like, like I was saying earlier, like my glam day. Also I had to change because I spilled coffee all over myself when we were walking back from the bagel shop. So getting my nails done with Mickey today. These are still my gals on the go live show nails. It is I'm so due to get my nails done. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do French chrome. So like just a normal French manicure, but then put like an iridescent pearly chrome over top powder, which I'm really excited about. I think it's gonna look really, really pretty. I haven't like ever done French manicures, like in years at least. Like when I was younger, I would do them. And then from there, I actually booked my hair appointment. So I'm just gonna go straight to Matt's hair and get these roots fixed and just chop a little bit and then come back and hang out with Ryan and get some dinner and just chill. Like honestly, I kind of want to be alone, but I really like would like to spend some time with Ryan, so I'm like trying to decide in my head <laughs> what I want to do. Taking down my Christmas tree, which is a little overdue. I just feel like so behind. Like I just see everyone's new year, new me stuff and I'm like, ah, like, you know, I just haven't been able to do like I haven't like gone to work out or anything. I haven't been eating the most nutritious because like I have, oops, I have friends in town. I had friends in town, and like I wanted Emmy to try a New York bagel and stuff, and I really wanted one too. I can't lie. So I just feel kind of like blah, but I feel like this is how it is every like after the new year. You know, you're like feeling blah after you know on New Year's Eve or on New Year's Day typically because you're tired, you stayed up late, all the things. And then you're just kind of like getting your life back together. People start going back into the office. I've started to get emails again, whatever. I just like feel like I don't have my footing and I've been really trying the last two nights or like anytime like, I mean, I would come back and we'd be watching TV. I'd just like be on my computer trying to get my life together. But anyways, I'm just complaining. But I, if any of you are feeling like this, like seeing everyone's TikToks and everything like day one out of 365 and you're like, oh my gosh, I did not do any of that yet. It's so okay. I feel like a few days after New Year's, it's still kind of like, weird and holidays all the things so because that's surely how i'm feeling and i don't even know if i said this to you guys but the dogs are now going to the national championship so ryan and i some of the biggest georgia fans <laughs> in my head we are going to the national championship it's in los angeles i'm so excited it's at sofi stadium which i've heard is like one of the nicest football stadiums ever now so we're flying out this saturday morning we'll be there till tuesday which will be really nice. It's just going to be me and Ryan. I do need to make some reservations. He doesn't care what we do. He's never been to LA. So I'm like, oh, well, I like, I can't help myself. <laughs> but we're staying in Santa Monica, which will be really nice, like by the beach. Um, I love Santa Monica. And get to watch the dogs play. It's like our new little tradition. We went to the national championship last year too. So hopefully it's a good result. I know a lot of you guys are TCU fans or go to TCU. So the dogs against the frogs, it's on. Um, yeah. All right, let's get our life together and go get our nails and our hair done. Take on the day, let's do some self-care.
nails are done. I'm obsessed. I actually sat next to a follower while I got my nails done. She was so cool. So shout out to you if you're watching this. Um, I finished a lot earlier than I thought. So I was able to go grocery shopping, which is amazing because I wanted to make dinner tonight. Um, and I just want like some snacks, you know, stuff to have here. And I was going to get kava for lunch. I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to make one of my favorite sandwiches here with my sub sauce, all the things with the cauliflower thins you guys will see. So I got a couple things here. We'll do a little grocery haul. It's been a minute. Um, I got two couscous boxes because I'm obsessed with couscous. couscous. I haven't tried this kind yet. This is roasted garlic and olive oil. My favorite one is from Whole Foods, but we didn't go to Whole Foods. I got more sprouts to put on my sandwich that I'm about to make for myself. I got some avocados because I've been craving my typical, you know, egg and avocado in the morning for breakfast. Needed more half and half for my coffee. I got, these are like my favorite apples, the Red Delicious. I got three Red Delicious apples. They had star fruit. I don't know if it's in season or I've just never noticed it in the grocery store before. My mom used to, on certain weeks, she would cut up star fruit for us in the morning before we went to school. So good. So tasty. Uh oh, got a little smush. I got some mozzarella and some arugula to make. And I have like frozen like breaded chicken in my freezer. Oh, I do have tomatoes and Italian dressing. Such a good little salad for lunch. And I it's only purpose. I also got the arugula to put my sandwich I'm about to make. Some chicken breast for dinner tonight. We're gonna do chicken, couscous, and green beans. They didn't have any fresh green beans, so I went for the frozen ones. I got turkey for my sandwich that I'm about to make. And then aren't these like the juiciest looking tomatoes you ever did see? For my sandwich slash for the salad that I will make sometime this week. And then garlic because I like to just have it like this so I can just cut it myself. Whew. All right, that's my grocery haul. I have about 10 minutes put this away and make that sandwich and eat it. So let's do it. All right, here's all the incredible ingredients for my favorite new sandwich. Cauliflower sandwich thins. You can find them at Whole Foods a lot of times. Turkey, a tomato, some lettuce. Today I went for arugula. Last time I did like butter lettuce, some sprouts, and then I made sub sauce in one of my Vlogmas vlogs, but it's olive oil, red wine vinegar, and oregano, I believe. And I just keep it in one of these. It's so good, let's do it. All right, I'm very proud of this. I can't wait to dig in. I'm at the hair salon now, and Brooke's here too. She has her hand on getting her hair. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> okay guys, I'm back from the hair salon. It only took four hours. I love it. We went even just the slightest bit shorter, not really, because my hair grew so fast last time. And then updated the roots. Ryan's here now. And What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? How we doing out there? <laughs> and we we be cooking with the ingredients I showed you guys earlier. He brought over some seltzers for us to try, because he knows I love seltzers. I like bubbly seltzers. And I hadn't tried this. Hal's New York seltzer water. He gave me the original. Cause I like original. And he's drinking blackberry. Gotta play the field. I'm enjoying it so far. I like how it's a big bottle too. We're topo people, right? We're topo people, so this tastes kind of like topo when you can't get topo. So yeah. Guys, my new knife has changed the game. Look how amazing this minced garlic looks. Also, the smell of garlic cooking in olive oil is the best. Got couscous going back here. Well, I'm about to put it in, actually. Ryan's on chicken duty. He put garlic in the chicken, too. I'm excited. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, guys. So, Ryan saw my star fruit in my produce bowl. And he was like, did you just get this for the aesthetic? <laughs> put it in your bowl and no I used to eat these and they are so good so I said okay we're gonna have one for dessert and it's awesome because when you cut it it looks like a star I mean stunning all right Ryan time to try some star fruit cheers cheers mm -hmm. Woo! 
almost got a kick to it. I got seeds Dang. in it. I not added seeds. You can eat the seeds. Good. That one's pretty sour. Okay. But I enjoy it. <laughs> I was like, you really like I like I like a tang. These are extra tangy. But I could have let like that it needs to be ripened a little more, but I couldn't wait. But I think they're good. Ryan just left. It's very cozy in here. I will be taking down my Christmas tree. That does need to happen. I am so sleepy. I'm so excited to sleep in my bed alone tonight. <laughs> um, I need to put the sheets on my bed though. I forgot I was washing sheets and now I have to like, I can't get in bed until I make my bed, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put on a soothing podcast. I'm like so happy that my hair is short again. It was uh, much needed and yeah. To go to bed and I feel like this vlog is already really long so I'm gonna end it here I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video thank you again to Princess Polly for sponsoring it go check out everything I linked down below and you can use my code XO Danielle and I'm gonna head to bed I'm gonna read I'm gonna enjoy I'm going to bed kind of early tonight what and I'll see you guys very soon for my next video bye